Surge of migrants has forced the state to find homes for them across the state. In some cases, the homes are in smaller towns. Now, as WBZ's Laura Hayfley tells us, in Sturbridge, people want to help, but the town doesn't have the tools to do it. One year ago, migrant families arrived on Martha's Vineyard. So I decided to come to the United States first of all because I'm a country full of opportunities. Since then, the influx of new arrivals to Massachusetts has only increased, putting a strain on housing statewide. We are not a town equipped to handle this. Sturbridge Town Administrator Robin Grimm tells WBZ migrant families are being housed at two local motels. The community does try to help. But as a town, we do not have anything in our budget to actually assist. This really has to be done by the Commonwealth. The state is stepping in, helping families with access to medical care, food, and to help enroll children in school. The National Guard is stationed at motels like this all across Massachusetts, but it's towns like Sturbridge that are concerned that once the Guard leaves, they won't have the resources to care for these migrant families. I don't have WRTA transportation. They need to be on a, a bus line. They need to be access to food pantries. I don't have a food pantry. Revenue loss also a concern for Grimm, though officials tell WBZ hotels are paid for by the state. Our town is a tourist community. We rely on those hotel rooms being taken up by people who spend money in our town. I can't quantify the revenue lost for small businesses and our local restaurants if too many rooms are taken up. But towns like Sturbridge may not have a choice. According to the governor's office, the state has seen an increase in both Massachusetts residents and migrant families in need of emergency shelter, a resource guaranteed by the right to shelter law. The problem? Massachusetts has the lowest rental vacancy rate in the country, forcing the state to use hotels for help. In Sturbridge, Laura Hayfley, WBZ News.